Welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at conditionals in Bubble, a very fundamental topic to programming, right? So much of programming is about having certain conditions where you want something to happen, and when another condition is true, you want something else to happen. So in this example video, what you're going to see is we're going to have a button that goes onto here in this example yoga app, and that button shows up uh, if someone is not subscribed to our app as a paying customer, we want to show them a button. Uh, if they are subscribed, we just we don't want that button to be there. So that's the conditional that we're going to be working with. There's a bunch of different types, and you probably have something specific in mind that uh, you're looking for at uh, your conditional. And we'll take a look at like you know how to set up some conditional type of things. So let's go ahead and dive into our bubble editor, where I'm just going to move these items down uh, using a redo button, and then draw a group on to the page, and we'll just get a little bit of call this one group subscribe for our button, and basically just We'll take a minute here to set up our UI for how this button should be put onto the page. And we don't want anything here. Um, and then we want to get a button into our page or into this group, visual elements button. And let's go ahead and center that. We want to get it 280 actually. And somewhere around here is fine for the vertical. For the color, I'm going to go ahead and just make this style look nicely so folks can see, you know, when you're designing pages, you know, having styles that make sense is a good thing to do. So I'm just going to make it a little bit lighter when it's pressed, the button, and make it a little bit darker when it's hovered. So that should take care of that. Call this button subscribe. And so what do we want to have happen here? Well, we'll just give it a little bit of, let's see, get uh, full access with a 14-day trial. So pretty uh, clear as what's going to happen there. And then now let's talk about the magic of this video, the magic of conditionals. So this group, normally a lot of things, you have this element is visible on page loads checked, and we're gonna uncheck that. And we're gonna control all of our um, visual, or whether or not something is, this element is visual through conditionals. Again, uh, lots of different ways that conditionals can be used. In our case, we have this field within our database for about yoga paid subscription. Is it a yes or is it a no? So I'm just gonna copy this to get us kind of roughed in to this yes and no uh, statements. And then we're gonna look at the elements of visibility. So there's a bunch of different things you could change. You could actually, you know, you could change this that if a person was on a certain level of subscription, you wanted to change the text, for example, we could say, let's see, uh, well, here we're in the group, but you could do that for uh, the text of a button. So this text for getting access, you might someone might be on a you know a basic trial and you want to try and move them towards an upgraded trial. So you could change the purpose of a button, right? There's many different conditionals you could do. So um, that's just kind of a small uh, sampling of these types of conditionals. So what we want to have happen here is if someone's not subscribed, we want to show them the button. If they are subscribed, they don't need to see it. And then here on our appearance, we want to make sure that this collapse this element height when hidden, because what that will do for us is and we'll see in a moment um, that when it's not visible, we don't get this big gap here where the button is. Okay, so cool. Uh, we're not going to do anything in this video with what happens when this is clicked and, and anything like that. We're just looking at a conditional that controls whether or not something is displayed. And again, lots of different conditionals and lots of different actions and things that you could have happen. You could change data sources, you could do a number of different things. Um, and again, a very simple example is what we're giving in this video. Okay, so uh, let's go into our database and we're going to check out our user here and we have this field for yoga paid subscription so they are not subscribed we show them the button and then we will check it out that when they are subscribed we go ahead and save that entry boom and we can see that that moved up and uh, because collapse element is checked here that goes away and then let's go ahead and just do one more look at that and we'll say you know, we're kind of updating the database manually here, but if that is not true, boom, the button is back. So hope you found that helpful, helpful a little introduction of what conditionals are and how they work in Bubble. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or check out our courses at nocodeacademy.co. Thank you for watching. I